There's long been treasure buried beneath the golden fields of central Alberta. This area home to the province's first major oil and gas strike. Now, Alberta's next energy revolution could be emerging here too. A boom potentially worth billions, driven by a spike in demand for lithium-ion batteries. The large uh, majority of demand by mass of lithium is coming from the uh, electrical revolution in electric vehicles. Turns out the salty water sucked out of these wells along with the oil also contains lithium. That wastewater now valuable. A perfect fit for entrepreneurs in a province used to pulling wealth from the ground. Because we're just transitioning um, effectively an old oil field into a lithium production field, um, we end up using the same skill set that Alberta has already developed. So um, a lot of value also for the province and for putting people to work here. A pilot project should be up and running here in a year. The trick will be proving it can make money. Lithium in Alberta isn't highly concentrated. You can build a pilot plant with a process that is somewhat efficient and you know not have the economics worked out, but nobody's going to pay to scale that up. In this Calgary lab, a different strategy to tap into the rising value of lithium is being developed. There's about 0.1% lithium of, in this bucket of salt water. So, when, so you, when you look at this bucket, do you see a bucket of money? It's a bucket of money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But this water isn't from Alberta. It's from Chile, where lithium is abundant but mined inefficiently. This company wants to take its technology on the road, extracting lithium around the world. We're essentially exporting knowledge from Canada to the rest of the world about how we look at a holistic approach of resource extraction. So in a sense, Alberta's lithium miners are trying to come full circle, turning back to the land that brought the province's wealth in the past to secure its financial future. Aaron Collins, CBC News near Wimborne, Alberta.